Congratulations on completing your operation, sir. My thoughts exactly. That seemed like a rather easy one for you in the end, too. Compared to what they're usually like, it was. If I had had a bit more time, I could have enjoyed some private time with a real gem of a woman, too, but I'll have to settle for crying myself to sleep tonight. Not this again. Unless you want another earful from the commander, you might want to start taking your work more seriously. I know, I know. Lighten up a little, yeah? I swear, I'll never get how you hard-headed types ended up with a sign to a slacker like me. Uh, this may come as a shock, but you are a Dominion, you know. We can't very well have you acting alone without any form of backup. As long as you're here and this ship is under your command, then slacker or not, we're here too. Even then, you've got a lot less squires in your service than you should have. Maybe you should take this chance to gather up a few more? I think I'm gonna have to pass. That'll just make it even harder for me to work on my own. I thought you'd say that. We'd prefer it if you actually trust us to help you a little more, sir. I mean, all we could do in that salt pail operation was transport the thing. You say that as if transporting it isn't a huge responsibility in itself. After all, the last thing we wanted was him catching wind of it and becoming wary of us. Is something wrong? Oh, not a thing. Anyway, as per the original plan, we need to get ourselves back to Arteria ASAP. We should be able to reach there by noon tomorrow. Or today, now, I guess. Got it. Huh? Wow, where's it from? Arteria, apparently. It's a call from Commander Selnit. Oh, you are kidding me. Getting a call from her right after a mission is always a bad, bad sign. Let's get this over with. Put her through. All right. Evening, Kevin. It sounds like you did well. Fill me in on the details. It basically went without issue. The artifact was the fool's locket. There were signs of society involvement, but it looks like they've cut any ties with him a long time ago. I see, as I thought then. Good work all around. I'd say you deserve a well-earned rest, but unfortunately, I can't grant you one right now. And here we go. Is something the matter? Oh, I'm just dandy. Please continue. Well then, as much as I hate to spring this on you immediately after finishing one mission, I've got something I'd like you to do for me. Hmm. Regarding a heretic, I assume? Not this time. All I want you to do is pick something up. The object in question is currently being held underneath Gransel Cathedral. Gransel? Do you think this object may be somehow related to the Oriole? It's a distinct possibility. Can I count on you to handle this? All right. That said, we've already got one artifact on the ship that needs transporting back, so I'll let the crew here take that to Arteria. I'll handle going to Liberal on my own. That's fine with me. Oh, incidentally, you won't actually be alone. I've dispatched a rookie squire to aid you. They'll be serving you from now on, so do play nice, won't you? W wait a minute. Wait, just one minute. You can't just bring a rookie on me out of nowhere like this. <laughs> Meetings ordained by the goddess always come suddenly and unannounced. Don't worry, though. They won't be a burden. The abilities they demonstrated during training were something truly special. Well, I will be praying for your success. Uh... <laughs> we all know it's coming. What? They've gone out of sight now. I wonder if they're busy migrating. It looks like they can't keep up with the ship, though. 
Yes, not every bird could be as fast as seed. But they were just the cutest. Hey, look who it is! I, I know you. It really is you. Long time no see, Dorothy. I sure wasn't expecting to run into you here. Funny coincidence, huh? It really is. It's good to see you again, too. Uh... Five year... You don't remember my name, do you? <laughs> don't be silly. Of course I do. It's... Uh... Oh, I remember. It's on your gram. Ah, but of course! How lucky I am to have been named after such a multi-purpose plant. That's not even a name, Dorothy! You really did forget, didn't you? And yet, you somehow managed to remember my last name like it was nothing. The I was being silly. A couple of days ago, I had this amazing onion hot pot over in the eastern quarter in Calvard, so I still got onions on the brain. I couldn't believe a hot pot with just onions and it could taste that good, but I swear it did. It was so comforting and sweet. So that's how I ended up saying onion instead of your name. Well, whatever. So if you insist you haven't forgotten, what is my name then? I do insist I'd never forget. It's lovely to see you, Jasmine Graham. But of course, how lucky I am to have been named after such a fragrant plant. That might be an actual name this time, but it's a woman's! Oh, I see. So you're here to carry out a follow-up investigation on all that trouble that happened earlier in the year? That's about the gist, yeah. Come to think of it, how'd you end up on an international liner like this? You said you were in the Eastern Quarter, right? Were you there to write about it for the Liberal News? Yep. Now nah, you'll actually let me go on my own this time, too. Well, that was... hearing of him? I'm not sure I'd want to let you handle traveling abroad for a report alone. Then again, it's only by taking on positions of responsibility that people can properly grow. Oh, I'm doing plenty of that. I mean, I wasn't sure what I'd do when I ended up in Calvard instead of Bo's Market, but I mean, it's just fine. Wait a second. I told you to go to Bo's? Not Calvert. He sure did. But then I got in the airship, fell asleep, and before I knew it, I was chilling out in Calvert's capital. Weird, huh? It sounds like you got on the wrong airship to me. Let my brain catch up. So you were in the Republic for literally days when you weren't even supposed to be there at all? Did you even have enough money to manage or Ios help us a passport? Oh, well, fortunately, here is someone from the Liberian Embassy at the airport who could issue me a temporary passport, so that was okay. And then tons of people were really nice to me help while I was there, so I had all the dog girl could ask for. I don't even know where to start. I almost be worried sick about you, huh? You think? He didn't sound so hot when I called yesterday to say I'd be coming back to the office today. I keep telling him that all that smoking is bad for him, but he never listens. I don't think you can pin the crime on tobacco this time, is he? Thank you all for taking this journey aboard the Gretna today. We will be arriving at our terminal, Gransel City, in roughly 30 minutes. We ask that you take this chance to check that you have all your belongings with you and to return to your seats before we begin our landing. Until then, please enjoy the remaining of your flight. Huh. Sounds like we're almost there. I'm gonna have to walk around the ship to kill some of the last half hour. How about you? Oh, I'm not sure. I suppose it's might as well snap some more photos. It's not often I get to take an international liner like this. Sounds like a plan. See you later, then. Later. Oh, Dorothy.
It's so lovely to be back here again. The Republic was a wonderful place, too, but you can't beat the here here liberal. You wouldn't believe all that stuff happened half a year ago looking at Grancel now, either. It's all completely back to normal. The people here sure are strong for what's usually such a peaceful country. Well, it's a country ruled by a queen. Everyone knows women are tough in the face of adversity. I'm not sure whether you're a perfect example of that or the opposite. You're right about the air here, though. It is nice. Nostalgic, almost. Makes me feel a little homesick. Your home's in Arteria, right? A place with all the really big churches and stuff? Nah, I'm not actually from Arteria. Not many people are. It's actually pretty darn small, like, smaller than most states around the continent. It's where the high seat of the Septian Church is, so lots of pilgrims and clergymen gather there. But few are actually born there. Oh, really? <gasps> so where are you from, then? Dorothy! Oh, Niall, I love you. Did you miss me? Did I miss you? Of course I miss you. What in Adios' name have you been doing? I sent you to Bose. How'd you end up in Calvert? You are definitely on the westbound liner. I'm sure of it. I really don't know. Oh, wait, I might actually know. Go on then, spit it out. I bet I'm a sleepwalker. After I got on the right airship, I fell asleep in the sleepwalk onto the wrong one. Do you think all this could turn out to be part of some elaborate murder plot? Wowie, all of a sudden I feel like I've walked right into a mystery novel. Sleepwalkers don't change airships, you idiot! <sighs> I'm all out of breath now. Are, are you alright? I really do think you should cut down on your smoking. You're not as young as you used to be, you know. Alright, your 30th birthday was last Friday too, wasn't it? Happy birthday, I brought a cake over at Calvert and had a big celebration for it too. How is it that you can remember useless crap like that and not the things that actually matter? I bet you were just looking for an excuse to eat cake by yourself, weren't you? You should have seen a Nile. He was made with Eastern Matcha so it was unlike any cake I'd ever seen. That perfect blend of sweetness and bitterness was just sublime. I took lots and lots of cute pictures of it, so I'll show you them all later. You brought pictures of a cake? At least bring back a souvenir! Man. They always felt like they could go into business as a comedy duo and actually make money off it. But they're even more of a crack up now. Wait a second. Ah, nice to see you again, Niall. You're looking same old, same old, though maybe you're not as happy about that. What are you doing here? Please, please tell me she didn't end up going to Artery and causing trouble there too. <laughs> Your wish is my command. We just ran into one another on the airship by total coincidence, that's all. Oh, good. Yeah, me worry for a minute. No, scared stiff should go and smash some super expensive stained glass windows in the cathedral there. Or who knows what. I'm so sorry for what you have to put up with. <laughs> yeah, you're too much of a worry, Mort. Whose fault do you think that is? Still, it's good to see you again, Father. What brings you to Liberal? Something else happened here? Oh, just a bit of work-related business I gotta take care of. It's not part of a major investigation, so don't go getting your hopes up. Nothing of interest is going to happen. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Anyway, so where are you staying for the time being? Grantsel Cathedral? I'll have to drop by and say hi sometime when I get the chance. <laughs> Go for it! In the meantime, I'm dragging your butt right back to the office, Dorothy. You gotta tell us all about what the hell you've been doing these past two weeks. <gasps> oh, you betcha. I snapped photos of every meal I had while I was over in Calvert, so I'm sure if we develop them, I'll be able to remember everything. I'm not talking about your gourmet report. <laughs> Seeing these two together really makes it sink in that I'm back here. Thinking about it, I wonder how all the others are doing. I know Estelle and Joshua are abroad at the moment, but I've got no idea what the others are up to. Oh, it's Sid. 
Lieutenant Colonel Sid. It's good to see you again. I'm pleased to see you've been keeping well since we last met at the banquet. The same to you, sir. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting you to be the army representative who came to meet me, though. I figured it'd be Julia. It may have been, but she's currently out on another mission, so unfortunately, you'll have to make do with me. I don't have anything better to do, so I came in her place. There's no need to be so modest. A little bird told me that you're going to be promoted to full-on colonel soon, aren't you? I shouldn't be surprised that your people have such a good information network, but I still am. Huh. Still, I'm afraid I still feel the position is too much responsibility for me as I am. Brigadier Colonel Bright still has plenty of work left in him, too. I wouldn't want to take any of it from him. Poor Cassius is still getting work to the bone, huh? Anyway, getting down to business. It's in Grantsville the Cathedral, right? That's correct. It's being kept underneath it, to be more specifically. Although I imagine you're already aware of that much. I hear laymen like myself can't even enter it without the knight's permission. Pretty much. It's a special place, you see. I'll fill you in on the details when we get there. All right, then. Well, you may as well head there right away. There's someone I want you to meet in the cathedral. Huh? Who? Let's just say, someone who's been assisting with the case. They'll be apprising you of the details on what you're doing here. Ah, there you are. It's good to see you again, Archbishop. You look very well. Huh? And you must be... Hmm, I wasn't expecting you to be quite this young. How old are you? Uh, 22, but that's a lot younger than I expected. And are the growls that are really so short-staffed that they're handing out their most important posts to kids? You can't blame me for assuming the Fifth Dominion will look like more of a veteran, can you? Your surprise is written all over your face. Someone in your position should have a much better poker face than that. Maybe you need to redo your training from scratch. Or are you just acting, I wonder? How do you... Professor Russell, please. He isn't here for you to try and pick a fight with him. Please try and be a little less deliberately provocative. What? Hell no. He's here to steal the thing we went through so much effort to bring up, and you want me to play nice. And kindly don't call me that ever again. I don't want to be addressed in the same way as that old coot. Of course, ma'am. Wait, Russell? Then are you? I suppose I should introduce myself. I'm Erica Russell. I'm sure it's not a name you're going to be forgetting anytime soon. It's Tita's mom? Still, I sure didn't expect to run into little Tita's mother here. I'd heard you and your husband were both living abroad. It brought you back. What do you think? After all that went down here, there was no way I was staying out of the country any longer than I had to. Though with how remote the region we were in is, it was all over by the time the word reached us. Had we found out sooner, I sure would have let that maniac pull half the crap he did. Doesn't sound like you're too happy with the professor nowadays, huh? Talk about an understatement. That whack job actually took my little girl to that floating city with him. I get that he's soft towards her, but that's no excuse for exposing her to danger. Th th that's fair. And as if that isn't enough, he let that red-headed scumbag near here too. That utter cretin isn't fit to be within 50 arc of my darling Tita, never mind actually getting friendly with her. So, uh, you don't like Agate, huh? Don't you speak that filthy name in front of me ever again. Ooh, when I'm finished with him, he'll wish he'd never been born. He might have survived that last onslaught, but we'll see how he fares against an even more powerful unit, won't we? <laughs> I get the feeling this is a matter we'd better not, pry, not prying into. 
and I thought the same. So I don't know any more about it than you do. Incidentally, the Professor Russell you're more familiar with is currently vacationing abroad. As such, she's been assisting us with this case in his place. Oh, I see. Are you two listening to me? Of course! Sorry! Hmm, well, whatever. Her, her eyes are so funny in the portraits. This staircase sure is long, though. How much further do we have to go? Not much, as far as I know. Yep, there we go! Dead end? I hope you got a good explanation for this. I do. This isn't a dead end, but to go any further, I'm going to need you to undertake a ritual of sorts for me. Specifically, I would like you to undertake a form of suggestion. I'm... not sure I follow. You want us to promise not to tell anyone what we see here, right? That's a little extreme, so no. The Colonel is obviously going to need to report what happened here to his superiors for one thing. All I want you to promise is that you won't tell anyone who you aren't certain you can trust. I don't need you to say it. I just need you to think and believe it. Weird, but all right. If that's all you want us to do, so be it. I feel the same way. Should we deliberately repeat it in our minds then? You don't even need to do that. It should just come completely naturally to you. All right, here goes. In the name of she who dwells above, do I hold this consecrated septium. Space is golden glow. Consciousness is silver glow. By your opposing natures, reveal to them the path that leads to your sacrament. How did that door appear? Thank you both for your assistance. I see that you are true to your word. I see. So if we just said it but didn't really mean it, we wouldn't be able to see anything, right? And yet I can hardly believe what just happened. I imagine it would be uncouth of me to ask how all this works. Yeah, I'd really rather you didn't. Anyway, come on in. What is this? Wow. Unbelievable. All these years, I had no idea that such a place lay hidden beneath Grantsville Cathedral. Well, it's not exactly something we publicize. It was built in accordance with the agreements between the church and the royal family. It has but one purpose. To suppress the power of ancient artifacts and keep their influence in check. I see. Its importance to you, Krausberger, is quite clear then. I'd assume there are similar ones in place other than liberal too. Well, I won't deny it. Anyway, we call this place a primal ground. Now there's a deep name if I ever heard one. Is the original ground the others are based on in Arteria? Mm. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, I'm not confirming anything. I was just thinking about how much you take after the other Professor Russell's all. Uh, I'll thank you not to associate me with him. He might trump me a little in the theoretical side of things, but when it comes to the practical side of horrible science, I could beat him in my sleep. And I was the one who designed the fundamental systems of the capital and the Arsail, you know. Really? Nice. But I think we're getting off topic here. This is the object in question, right? That's correct. It was pulled up three days ago from the area where the Liberal Ark sank. We believe it to be an artifact.
Damn. Sun's going down already, huh? If this spot turns out to be a bust, we're probably gonna have to call it quits for today. We can only hope. Professor Russell's certain that this is the area we've been looking for. Yeah, she says it's here. Unfortunately, you know, Valeria Lake's about as deep as the lake can get. Depending on how small the thing we're looking for is, actually finding it could still be a real task and a half. Hmm. It's likely to be small, though. The orbital readings suggested we're dealing with quite a large object, I believe. Oh, I wouldn't judge its size based off of those. Ah, Professor. Hey there, kiddo. Finished getting us a new estimated location. Just about. Be real swell if you knocked it off with a kiddo, though. I'm not sure it's the most appropriate way to address a married woman, much less one who's already popped out a child. Ah, sorry, but old habits die hard, you know. Hard to make the switch when I've been calling you that since you about knee high. Well, I'll let you off this time. Back to work. Can you ask your subordinates to stand down for the time being, Colonel? Is this the spot, then? Are you able to calculate exactly where the object is? Give or take an arc, yes. Judging by the readings, what we're trying to pull up isn't all that big, either. Probably about 50 reg. Maybe even less. You serious? Or will we be dealing with a real monster, not something the size of Antoine? Yeah. Hmm. Still, if it does turn out to be an artifact, this could get problematic. Unfortunately, the church isn't going to want to let us keep it, that's for sure. <sighs> I really can't stand them. No matter how hard you work to get your hands on something, the second it turns out to be an artifact, they swoop in like it's their goddess-given right to have it. It ticks me off. Easy there. We don't know for sure that it's even an artifact yet. Regardless, I'll pass on the message to my subordinates right away. I'll leave the rest to you, Gustav. You got it. Let's see what we're dealing with, yeah? Ugh. That sound just fills me with dread. Does the salvage crane sound like it's in poor condition to you? Oh, that's not really what I meant. I just can't break myself to like artifacts, you see. We can't explain how they have the power they do, but they have it, and it's not something we can ignore either. As a researcher, I can barely imagine anything more frustrating. Even when we can't help but be captivated by them, we're well aware that any attempt to solve their mysteries is pointless. I see. When you put it that way, I can understand to a degree how you must feel. Half a year has passed since all the chaos came to an end, and on the surface, we're back to normal. But even now, we still don't know what truly happened here or what it signified. Yeah, not that I was here to see it all happen, of course. Crane's arm reached the bottom of the lake. I'm gonna attempt to grip the object. There we go. Yep, we got it. I'm here to pull it up. Please do. The moment of truth, huh? Here we go. What? Oh, my. I see. Still looking at it. Correct. There were orbital readings coming from the artifact when we found it, but not anymore. And I'm sure I don't need to spill out the significance of that, do I? No, it's plain as day why you decided to stay and wait for me now. If an artifact has lost its power, it's exempt from the traditional agreements governing them and doesn't need to be given to the church. That it? You already understand me so well. We can cut right to the chase then. The orbital readings disappeared right before we handed the artifact over to the cathedral as it so happens. It's currently being looked after here, but the formal procedures to transfer ownership have yet to be completed, making its legal owner unclear. So, in your expert opinion, what should be done here? 
Mm, this is a tricky one. I'm assuming Liberal wants to assert ownership of it in this scenario, right? If anything, it's the professor here who wants to do that. I'm merely here accompanying her as a representative of the Royal Army. From what I've heard, it's completely impossible to analyze an artifact that's no longer active. I don't see how it'd be any use to your research as it stands now. But you're sure you want to cap it that badly? Oh, absolutely. We're talking about an object found at the site of where a massive flying city used to be. I might not have seen it happen, but it sounds like everything we thought we knew about the world was more or less proven wrong. You know, by the truth that you people in the church have kept hidden for the past. Oh, I don't know. Thousand years? As for that Ouroboros group, they don't have much more sense than you guys. The more I hear about their advances in technology, the less I can work out how it's even possible. I don't know what the truth is, or what's really happened here on the island. But I can't stand by and feign disinterest in knowing the answers anymore, and I'm far from alone. So long as there is the slightest chance that artifact could shed light on what I want to know, I want it. I think you've made your point, Professor. It's not as though interrogating him will achieve anything. True enough. Well, you've heard what I've got to say. It's now up to you to tell us what you're going to do. Will you hand over that lump of metal, or won't you? Well... That brief hesitation was all it took to spawn a great evil. Who is she? No way. He crawled through the fields ran through the hills and spread disaster in the skies above. An excerpt from the Book of Aesir, verse 2. Disaster Unleashed. I apologize for the delay in coming, Father Grimm. My name is Rhea Sargent, and I am the squire of the Giles Ritter. I look forward to working under you. I don't think we'd end up having more company. Wait a second. Is something the matter? So, that's how they think they can get me, is it? But well, they can't just bribe me so easily, I'm better than that. Hmm? Maybe I underestimated the grass litter. They think they can break my will to fight by sending a girl like you my way, do they? But I'm not going to go down so easily because I've got a secret weapon of my own. Behold, the most powerful force in the universe. Isn't that... That's Fida, isn't it? How cute. Isn't she? Isn't she? I bet you just want to jump into this photo and squeeze her like a stuffed toy right now, don't you? I should have known the c cutie patootie like you would have been able to appreciate the same qualities in others. I'm sorry, what is it that she thinks that they want from her? <clears throat> anyway, that's why no matter how frickin' adorable you may happen to be, you can't take me down because I've got natural immunity. Um, I beg your pardon, but I'm afraid I'm not really following. You keep saying that someone is cute, but are you referring to me? Who else would I be talking about? You've got such an aura of maturity about you, and yet your features still have this irresistible trace of innocence to them. And then they throw you into a sister's habit to compliment it all like a little cherry on top. That's the most flattering habit I've ever seen. Oh, if I didn't have my protective field, I'd be in real danger here. Uh, well, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, I'm just saying. Might I inquire as to the identities of the people with you, Father Graham? Uh, sure. Uh, the ladies, Professor Erica Russell at ZCF, while the gentleman is Lieutenant Colonel Sid of the Royal Army. Seriously, though, Father Graham? Really? Ah, so you're the people who initially discovered the artifact, then. Thank you for your cooperation in our work. We'll take over looking after it from here on out. That will be all. Wait, uh, what? Uh, hold on a minute. We haven't decided what to do with it yet. 
Perhaps not, but my intention was to save you the time and effort required to do so by making the correct judgment myself. Whether it has lost its power or not, that is no ordinary artifact. It is potentially related to one of the Septarians. I'm surprised that you have even humored the option of letting an outsider take custody of it. I, I mean... Well, well, you sure know how to pick a fight. Go on, then. What legal basis do you have for taking it from us? I have no legal basis, but you have no more of one for keeping it. If we are following the agreements to the letter, no one is allowed to assert ownership of inactive artifacts. It belongs to neither you nor me. It is simply an abandoned object with no owner whatsoever. What? So all you got is I don't need a reason, it's mine and that's final? To put it bluntly, yes. <clears throat> well, that's how you want to play it. What's your take on this, Kevin Graham? Well, by all means. N me? I thought I'd been kicked out of this conversation. But, well, I can't say I don't want to take it back to Artaria with us. But after all the help Liberal's given us, I feel kind of bad just snatching it from them without even giving them a valid reason. Hmm. Both arguments have a degree of merit, but neither is clearly more correct. I'm not quite sure how you'll solve this one. You do know that you're smack dab in the middle of this too, right? Oh. My. What is it? Why do you both look so surprised? What do you mean, why? Did the two of you not hear that? Hear what? Later. Oh. wasn't giving off any orbital readings at all. Zero. Zip. Why, why is it suddenly active again? I believe that settles our dispute. It sure does. So the real artifact was inside, huh? I've never seen one quite like it. It looks like a box of some kind. Or a cube, maybe. I'd like to thank you two for your cooperation in the recovery of this artifact. In accordance with the Pacts of the Church, I, Kevin Graham, will be assuming custody of it from here on out. You and all who aided you have the Septian Church's deepest appreciation. <laughs>